I have a whole other video on setting up page numbers and taking a deep dive into those that you might like to check out. This is just a quick video showing you how to generate page X of Y type scenarios. What do I mean by that? Well, you're looking right at it. So this is page one of six. And if I go for a scroll, page two of six, three of six, etc. you get the idea. So I'd like to show you how to set that up quickly. So let's go up to file, new document. I'm not worried about the settings other than making sure facing pages is turned off so that when I come over to my pages panel and add a few pages, they are coming in as single pages, not as pairs of facing pages. Very nice. Now, uh, this is something we only have to want to have to set up once and not multiple times on every single page. So we want to go straight to the A master. So I'll double click on that. We are indeed looking at the A master just here. So let's set up that scenario on this page and that will be repeated on all of our pages because you can see by default InDesign is playing is applying the A master to all pages. So we're here on A master. Let's go and grab our type tool by pressing the T key. Let's drag out a giant text box just here. Remember guys, this is about function, not making it look pretty. So let's uh, throw the font up to say font size 80 and let's center align this. Now, believe it or not, there is not a nice little single button option that we can activate inside of InDesign. We actually have to manually set this up. So if you want to include the word page, you actually have to manually type it in. So page space. So now we want to insert the page number. So up under type, insert special character, markers, and then current page number. There is a keyboard shortcut if you wanted to remember it there. It's command option shift N on a Mac, control alt shift N on a PC. So we insert the current page number. It inserts A, nothing's wrong because of course we are on the A master. Let's type space of space. Yes, I had to manually type all of that. Now we want to find basically the total number of pages in this document. So let's come up under type, insert special character markers, and you're not gonna find it in here or in any of these sections here. You have to come all the way back and come up to text variables, insert variable, and you are looking for the last page number just here. So here on, a, on the A master, this reads page A of one, and let's go double click on page one and see what we've got. Fantastic, page one of three, there's two of three, three of three. And just to prove that this is all dynamic, if I just quickly add a few extra pages, there we go, page three of five, four of five, five of five. So that's all dynamically changing. Even if we were to add or delete as many pages as we like, this will dynamically change. So that's it there guys, a nice simple one. Hope that helps. Catch you later.